prepare for nerdgasm. In this video, we're going to go over Smart Glass for Xbox 360, running on iOS device. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, with another video for you guys. Today, we're going to talk about Xbox Smart Glass. Now, Smart Glass is an application that can run on your iOS device, Android device, or your Windows Surface. And uh, you basically open it up, as you can see right here, it finds your Xbox and connects to it. See? Barnacle is now connected with Xbox Smart Glass. Now this is actually really cool. I've been playing with it for a while now. And what it allows you to do is completely control your Xbox from your tablet or iPhone or Android device. It's actually really, really cool. Not only that, but the newer games interact with it. So when you're playing games like Forza Horizon, you can actually get like useful real-time information on this screen while you're playing the game on that screen. Uh, when you're doing things like uh, using Internet Explorer, for instance, you can actually just click it here. I'll even show you. I'll just click it. So we'll click Internet Explorer. You see it opens up on the big screen. And now I can move the cursor around the screen like it's a giant mouse pad. See, I can, I can move it around. Let's, let's go check out Pinterest. Just click. Opening up. Now this is actually really cool because now you can kick back on your couch and use this as your control device and that is your viewing device. So now you can scroll up and down with a little scroll bar here on the side. You can even pinch zoom. So you can zoom out, you can zoom in, and it works pretty well. It's, it's actually really, really cool, guys. And you can actually switch in and out of controller mode. So you can interact with your... your uh, Xbox Live account and see your avatar and do all kinds of cool stuff, see everything that you own. And then if you want to go back into controlling the application that's currently on the Xbox, you just push one button and you're back. You can also type in your URLs here. So let's go to, uh, for instance, Bing, search engine. As soon as I push go, it pops up on the screen up here. I can control it using the cursor on the screen. So let's go see what's popular now. It can get a little bit of laggy sometimes. So, click it. Come on, click it. All right, well the animated Bing background image is actually making this lag pretty bad. This is a bug that I hope that they're working on. Uh, let's just go to Google instead, because it doesn't have animation. There we go, now the cursor's all happy and responsive again. So if you want to search, you can click on any text field. And when you get the on-screen keyboard, you also get the keyboard on here, so you can type directly in. Not searching for anything in particular, but it works pretty damn good. So go ahead and get out of there. Go back to the home screen. Let's see, I want to exit Internet Explorer. i got to figure out how to do this. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Still getting the hang of this. It connects really fast when you open the application. Okay, there you go. So you can click this and you can say, where do you want to go? The browser, the guide, or the controller? So I want to go back to the guide. It's going to ask me. It gives me the buttons on the side of the screen. So yes, I want to go by. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. So there you have a really quick demo of how it works with Internet Explorer and navigating the dashboard. You just swipe to move between things. You can also swipe slow to move multiple things. So if we go back here, see I can go up and down three things. Again, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but not too bad. So let's see, we want to play Forza Horizon. So let's go ahead and open up Forza Horizon. You can see it recognizes that I'm playing Forza Horizon. It's starting the Xbox Smart Glass experience. It says that I need to download an update. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Apparently I need to use a controller for this because it's waiting for Forza to start. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I don't need the controller. All right, so Forza Horizon. Start driving to activate GPS. So now, let me go ahead and download the update. 
So I'm going to go back to control controller mode. Oh, it's having a hard time connecting to Smart Glass. I guess it doesn't work too well when you have to download an update. So let's go ahead and download the update and then we'll try it again. All right, so now I have my update downloaded. You can see I'm in the game right here and Xbox Smart Glass automatically knows I'm inside of Forza. So it says start driving to activate GPS. So let's go ahead and just set this right here for now. So we can see it. Go ahead and start up off my cloud storage. Okay, let's do a single player. Well guys, it would appear I found a bug in the smart glass. Uh, I tried to enter the game when I needed an update, then after the update was done it wouldn't connect again. And now the application on the iPad is stuck thinking that it's in that game and it's just, it's not working. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the smart glass application. It is a new technology, so I don't expect it to be flawless. All right, so let's go ahead and start it up again. Connecting to the Xbox. You can see we're now connected with Smart Glass. So let's start up Forza. Now you can see it knows that Forza Horizon is loading. Press start, load my cloud data, let's start a single player game. Now only a couple of games right now work with Smart Glass and then there's a lot of things in the Xbox Marketplace that works with an Xbox app. But now you can see here I've got my GPS up on the screen, which is pretty cool. It just zoomed in on the location where I am in Carson. And now I can interact by pressing my destination on the iPad. So let's say I want to go there to the discount sign. So set route. Whoops. So I get for having it propped up on something. All right, so there we go. You can see my GPS, my guy's moving. Okay, so now I'm gonna go pick up the discount sign. There it is right there. So with this, I can actually see a lot more of uh, the new stuff I can get. So let's say I want to go pick a destination. I can just push it. So you have a filter, you can filter what things are shown on the map. For some reason it's not letting me click on anything. Before I could click and set a destination, now it's not allowing me to. So, so it is a little bit buggy guys. I'm sure that they'll fix it as updates go on. But again, you can see that I'm on the move again.
but it's pretty cool if you're sitting on the couch you know and you're playing Forza you can have your device sitting right next to you or in your lap or on the coffee table and you can just glance down and see where stuff's at and you don't have to like open up the in-game map um, it seems to me that as, as time goes on they'll probably add more features to this game and I'm sure it'll be better on others but the first thing I noticed is in Forza Horizon is it seems like the GPS lags a little over my Wi-Fi um, also, it looks like it has a couple bugs in it because I was able to select places by just clicking them. And now I can't touch them anymore after the game restarted and reconnected to it. So I, I have had a couple problems. I had to restart the game twice to get it to properly connect. Um, hopefully they're aware of these issues though and they fix them. But the cool thing is, is this is something I've never seen before on any other console um, except for the upcoming Wii U. And that is... Now you can use your, your, well in the Wii U you have to have a special tablet that's a controller. With this you can use your existing iPad, iPhone, Android device. It doesn't work with the Google Nexus 7 because unfortunately the app in the marketplace specifically says it's not compatible. I'm sure that's going to be fixed at some point. But it's a really cool way to be able to control your Xbox from a distance. Um, the most useful thing I've done with it isn't necessarily Forza. Like this is my first time actually using it in Forza as I'm sure you can tell by watching this video. But I have used it in the dashboard quite a bit, and I use it for the web browser because I can just sit back, kick back on my chair, lay back on my bed on the projector, and navigate around and watch videos and do Reddit and do Facebook and all that stuff right from the screen, but it's like nice and comfortable to control with this. So guys, if you didn't know about Xbox Smart Glass, give it a try. If you have a device that's compatible, absolutely, because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, honestly, so I don't think it's really gotten the marketing that it needs and deserves quite frankly but i think once you guys try it out you'll agree it's actually pretty cool all right so now i'm down here in the man cave bedroom got the application open it's looking for my other xbox there it is you can see it just said it's signed in i'm like blocking the projector i'm now connected with smart glass so i can now sit back and navigate using the tablet which is really really nice so uh if i wanted to go back to internet explorer for instance go to my pins over to Internet Explorer and again you'll see that it'll notice the Internet Explorer is opening a little icon will change and now it's got the UI for Internet Explorer and I've got a cursor I can move around on this giant screen so back to Pinterest since that's for some reason the only site I have here <laughs> um, and there you pretty much have it you can scroll up and down using the little slider on the side, and if you see something that catches your eye and you want to zoom in on it, you can just pinch and zoom. So, there's really not much more to it, guys, but uh, incredibly useful, incredibly simple to use. I just walked downstairs, turned my other Xbox on, it immediately located it and loaded it up. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even have to do anything, and... Uh, yeah. I'm able to control it. So please leave your comments. I'd love to know what your guys' experiences are, what other games and stuff you've used this with, other cool experiences. Please dump it all in the comments. I love reading about them. So guys, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm, and until next time.